Man, tomorrow's gonna be a great event. All I gotta do is lure a pussy in. And let him know that tomorrow's gonna be good for him also. You see, last week I beat up the game. I found his dumb ass. Yeah, I did. I found you naked. That's right. I found you naked. You're not in any other person's gear. My gear. You're, I, I found you naked. You know what I did? I beat the shit out of your head. Maybe I woke your ass up. But I got a special thing to hand off to you. I got a special job to hand to you. You see, Gamble, I know you're not really much uh, caring for much, except for that kid that you're holding hostage there, known as uh, Billy Shortcake. Fat club and son of a bitch look like everybody in the front row I'm looking at right now. And I know that you want to try and take me down. Well, you can do that. All you have to do is show up as number one in the Rumble tomorrow. And I'll give you exactly what you want. All right? I will give you exactly what you need. And that's an ass whooping. Because here's my plan. I'm walking in the Rumble, eliminating you in 10 seconds. And I'm going to win the whole... The whole thing... The song's copyrighted. You can't use this. No, no. No, no, no. Hey! Hey! You naked last week? I got my gear on now. Yeah, you're, you know what? You got my attention, Mr. Baron. I'm not in any gambler suit. I'm not trying to fuck with you. And you beat up my son last week, and hell, I would be more angry, but my son's a kick-ass motherfucker. And you know what? I, I, I just, uh, hey, I don't care. Because he can fight his own battles, and that's why I love him. But, you want to give me something? Why do we have to wait tomorrow? Give me it now. And now it's on my terms! Shut up! I'd never listen to a damn thing you'd ever say. Okay, you're, you're stupid. You're a fucking bald-headed fuck. That's all you are. That's all you ever have been. The only reason you're in my business, simply put, is because you're friends with Dave Olay. Where is he? Gone. Why? Me. What are you bringing him up for, man? All right, so you said you're gonna give me a hand job tomorrow. What? I, uh, I don't really think I swing that way, Baron. I, uh, you know, in Vegas, I got a hand job, but it, and they're also pretty bad, but it wasn't a gimp fuck like you that did it. No, I got it from a hot girl named, named Sugar and Candy. It's in my theme song with Dable. You should really look up on it. It's a great story. Helicopter crash. I don't care. It's not what I said. Don't, don't try to stir this shit into your own little thing. You're pathetic. The only thing you do is try to make these people laugh and you're not even funny. Nobody likes you. I mean, sure, Pennsylvanians like you because Pennsylvanians haven't watched a damn good thing in their lives make them laugh. No, they watch Elmo. And that makes them laugh. And you're like, Elmo, you're a kid's show. You, the guy behind the Muppets probably a fucking kid. I, I don't want to talk about it. Hey, I don't know why we're talking, but hey, you know, I'm always down for a challenge. You know, imagine me being the Iron Man in the Rumble. All the way from number one Number 30, and I win. And I win the world title against James Vice, and I, and I give that belt to my son. Sounds like a deal, Baron. What is it, you at number two or something? Yeah, it, it, I mean, yeah, it is. It's kind of me at number two. I mean, I, I'm, I haven't really thought about it yet. But you accepted, which means you gotta be number one in that rumble, and I appreciate your hustle. You thinking you're actually gonna run into that thing and eliminate every other monster piece of shit in, this, in that roster, in that locker room. No, no, no. Business Baron can do that. Gambler. Your name's Gambler, why don't you take a gamble? That's all I'm asking. I already accepted. You stupid, I already accepted. I, I already accepted, and you say it's kind of you, what are you gonna dress like a, like a gimp? Oh wait, no, you already dressed like a gimp. And I've, I've seen plenty of gimps in Las Vegas, and boy, I mean, I've seen their abs, I touched him, it felt like the Rocky Mountains. If I touched your abs, it'd probably, be, probably feel like snack pack pudding business, Barry. So, I wouldn't mind tossing your snack pack pudding looking ass out of the top rope in the first thing into the show. 
I'm glad that you. I'm glad that's what you want, Gambling. I'm glad that you come up here, straight up as yourself, wearing dragon trunks you bought on Amazon, and printed your name embossed. Gambler is himself. You're an embarrassment, and I can't wait to embarrass you at the Rumble. I, I'm so happy that you have the hustle that you do, because I can't wait to just make you, your son, your ugly uncle or brother, whatever you want to call him, cry. I can't wait to make them all cry. I don't want you to say another word. I'm not going to put my hands on you. And you're not going to put your hands on me either because you know that without your costumes, without your gaffes, your goof, your peanut funny shit, throwing in elephants and shit, funny laugh bullshit, you'd never be able to beat me. And at the Rumble, that's simply what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to make trends. See you there, nerd. Hey. You know, if you still want to do that hand job, just, I know a girl, she's 400 pounds. Oh, jeez, typical. Typical crazy promo. Gambler, first time ever, he's, he's been himself in the ring. It's ridiculous. Joe even quit the show because it was that stupid. I mean, hell, we're going to get Gambler at number one.